Hey everybody, how's it going? Cisco here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a gameplay commentary of a TF2 center match I played a little while ago. This is uh, the map Payload Badwater, and this is a Highlander setup, so 9v9, all 9 classes being represented, and I'm the engineer. And so my teammates are not just being dumb, they're committing suicide to be able to allow me to use their weapons that they drop as metal to be able to set up as quickly as possible. And return, I will uh, put up a teleport for their uh, safe return, or they can walk back if they have enough time. And this is to be able to get me to be set up as quickly as possible. Uh, usually without it, I'd have to be uh, sprinting from ammo pack to ammo pack just to be able to get everything done. But if I get at least one to two suicides, um, I can get set up more than enough before the uh, the timer actually goes off and this is kind of a problem on some other maps uh, not as much on uh, Badwater because I do have that large ammo pack there and if I do need it there is the one on the other side of this cliff but that's the amazing thing about playing engineer in a uh, Highlander match is because people actually care about what the NG is doing the teleport the dispenser and sentry gun are all s some of the three most important things you can have while you're defending. Uh, we gotta be able to get people to the line as quickly as possible. We gotta have a source of health and ammo for everybody around it. And the sentry gun is a huge method of uh, area of denial. I can deny basically most of the map from this point right here. Uh, I will have to move it back as soon as the cart gets pushed through the tunnel. But uh, I am one of the largest presences on the, uh, on the field. And the only thing I really have to worry about are spies and an uber. And even with that being said, uh, you'll see that uh, constantly I have, I'll have a pyro, always watching my back, checking for spies, and um, this heavy medic combo is never gonna leave me because I'm, I've got the dispenser right there. It'll keep both of them at full health and ammo, but um, they will be able to counter a uh, if there's an uber push, a, a heavy I'm trying to get up. They will try to at least body block and take most of the damage while I can uh, keep my sentry alive because as soon as that sentry goes down that's their free ticket to walk straight up and uh, walk the uh, walk the bomb right into our base so as long as my sentry is up there's no way they're going to be able to get through here and um, the occasional spam will take some damage but uh, as long as I'm, I'm with it uh, things won't uh, get out of hand see here they uh, they counter popped uber just for me to be able to pick up my sentry but unfortunately their uh, their pyro was able to uh, air blast me out of the way but it's just one of the things I was able to actually save this I can uh, go right back up they didn't manage to get anything else and my sentry is already built so no harm no foul I can already set up and we don't even lose any ground here now the setup I'm running, I've got the Jag, the Wrangler, and the Rescue Ranger is uh, my top Highlander payload setup because the Jag, I need that for the bonus construction rate which is um, essential for setting up on a payload map as quickly as possible. It won't do as much damage to enemy players or like spies but that shouldn't matter as long as my team is doing what they're supposed to. As long as I've got my pyre around me, spies shouldn't be bothering me that much. And um, the Wrangler and the Rescue Ranger is an insane combo that can save your sentry gun basically from any situation. The Wrangler will give you incredible range, but not just that. It will reduce the damage coming to your sentry by two thirds, which makes it almost impossible to kill if you have it wrangled and the shield's up and you're either shooting it or hitting it with the Jag. Um, it can be able to counter a fully uber charged heavy and uh, most people remember this by the uh, the Sigafu save uh, and that's uh, what the move's been uh, made most famous by. Mine didn't work so well in this uh, in this game but uh, I was able to uh, definitely let it survive a lot longer than it would have initially without me actually um, keeping up with it and uh, putting the shield on it when it's in danger or taking heat. Now, I don't usually play Engineer that much in regular games, but uh, I did have to pick it up for a little while and uh, try out some of the things I've learned from a uh, YouTube channel, a man by the name of Uncle Dane on YouTube. Uh, I'll post a link to his channel right here. And uh, I've been watching a bit of his videos, and if you haven't, I urge you to go do so because he, he mains Engineer, and he has a lot of tips and tricks on how to be able to... Um, really make the most out of your sentry gun and uh, have fun doing it too. Because the most depressing thing about being an engineer is uh, one, how long it takes to set everything up if you're not doing it right, 
Uh, you gotta build the dispenser, sentry, teleporters, all that, and it takes a while, and it's not fun if you build all that, and then you, it's burst down in two seconds. Uh, you just gotta be able to manage everything well, um, know the build order, when to build things uh, first, and how to mac maximize your presence on the field. And so it's been called, um, a lot of people turtle their sentries, they'll just uh, have the sentry built in front of them, and then they'll have the dispenser built right on their back, and they will constantly sit there and hit the sentry gun for the rest of the game, or just build it on last and just wait till the cart gets there, just to have everything melted down in a couple of seconds. With this build though, I can be a lot more aggressive. With the rescue ranger, as you as you saw, I was able to uh, pull the sentry gun uh, quickly across the map into a different location. This is to be able to give, um, you know, change things up on the enemy. They'll be expecting the sentry gun to be on cliff, but then all of a sudden uh, they'll be rushing up on the uh, on the right side of the map trying to get my sentry gun, and it's not there. I'll have already set up on the other side of the cliff so I have a good drop on them if they're coming either direction to get my old sentry gun spot it's not there anymore and um, I can easily clean them up and uh, but here we've uh, we've already switched to offensive now uh, I don't have as much of a role as playing an offensive engineer I, I can do some damage I can set up the tellies if I need but I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of damage um, usually uh, my main goal my main job should be pushing the cart, but um, I was having a little bit too much fun here, like uh, taking out that heavy right there and uh, this telly. So um, I was able to uh, do pretty well, and <laughs> this was a uh, this was a very short match, but um, I really enjoy it. If you have not played Engineer in a while, I urge you to do so. Just pick up the Rescue Ranger, the Wrangler, and the Jag, and um, see how long you can uh, you can keep that uh, sentry gun going. So yeah, learning just a couple of things is uh, enough for me to pick up NG and uh, have a great time doing it. So again, if you haven't checked out the channel, check out Uncle Dane. And if you haven't subscribed to my own channel, do that first. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye and good luck. What's going on? You'll just kind of like fly over a payload cart. Everybody's gone. It is fantastic. <laughs>